RuPaul's Drag Race. Hey, kitty girls, it's late on a Sunday night on the 2nd of June in 2019. And it's comes out loud drag race tea time. And I hate Windows 10 officially. I used to hate Skype, but now I hate Windows. I hate Microsoft because we are like, like an hour and a half at least later than planned because I couldn't get all these different software things to work. So we have to go old school. But I spent a lot of time today capturing images and like sound clips for today's fucking episode. So this is how it goes. Guess what, bitches? We are going to see them. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if I had to literally hold them up every time and just go boom. Like that's, that's what we're going to fucking do. <laughs> like I did not spend all day doing all this shit. Like that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm like, <"Sir." laughs> what was that? Oh, it was that Key and Peele, like Obama, like <laughs> it was his translator. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you're here. Yes. I'm just going to be like up here. Like, yes. anyway. All right. So it's the grand finale. We got to four queens Akira, Brooke, Silky, Evie. They are the ones battling for the crown. By the way, uh, in case you didn't know, um, so I think it goes without saying that for this particular episode, if you have somehow mystically not been online and you don't know what's happened yeah, <laughs> and who won, Spoiler alert, honey. We're gonna, we're gonna spill the tea on that a little bit. We're gonna spoil the fuck out of this show. Just, <laughs> yes, so, so if you have not seen it yet, just pause. Yeah. Go Be aware. <laughs> your streaming service, your your iTunes, or what have you, and watch it, and then you can come back and watch us right. or listen to us or both. All right. So, are you ready to get into the first section? Yes. Wow. All right, so uh, this is entrances. This is talking about everybody, well, most everybody, that made an appearance uh, on the show for this particular episode. <laughs> All right, so uh, the queens came in. So let's talk about the season 11 girls that arrived and uh, how they put themselves together for uh, their entrances. Okay. Uh, these are going to be in alphabetical order because I don't have time to reorder them in the, uh, the correct order. Uh, so Miss Ariel Versace, a.k.a. the Bratz live doll from New Jersey. Jersey. Or New Jersey. It was okay, you know? Yeah. I think it was very cute and fluffy. It was very on her, you know, brand and trend. Uh, it was pretty. I I, I liked it. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tool. Like, just all that, like, fabric and stuff. It's just a lot. And, but it works. Um, we... We often, one of the things, you know, we've heard Michelle talk about is like shape and it does give her a bit of a shape. So good for her. Yeah. Uh, honey Davenport. Girl. I fucking love this. <laughs> good. I'm glad. Because I got nervous when you were like, girl. And I was like, <laughs> oh, no. Like, like, David, no, David. I... Oh my God. Like, I love this. Like, so what we've learned from Honey, obviously, she has a lot of like bee themed and, you know, hive and, you know, and she's like, again, brand trend. This is kind of the point where you kind of make that happen. And she's been doing it. And this, all of this just works so beautifully together. This, oh, this, all oh, this look just like it just, it, it's hard. Like, I cannot see anyone else wearing this outfit. 
I, I completely agree with you. I thought it was perfectly on brand. It was not overdone. She carried through the B theme. And I love that black leather, like, yeah. bottom. Yes, it was right. something else. It's a little big, big, but it, I mean, it it's perfect for like this. Like I get to walk on stage basically once or right. twice. And oh, she, she got to wear this on the world tour. You know that. that yeah. This will be like stuff that she performs it or whatever until she gets all mm -hmm. the money out of it in that case. Mm -hmm. uh, Kahana Montrese. Okay. Next. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it, it was bold. She was going for something. The boot shoe thing does not match to the top. She yeah. looked like an unfinished Christmas, like door, like re thing. I don't yeah. understand. It, like, so, okay. So if it was meant to be wings, they're kind of crooked. If it's meant to be like, like a reef or whatever, it, it just, it, it just isn't, it doesn't work right for me. And um, so I watched the fashion photo review. Yay. Um, and one of the things they said, like, from the waist up, like, Raja liked it. Um, I don't, like, I don't, I, I don't know what it is about this, like, structured, like, feather, wing, petal, flower, whatever the fuck this is, that these are these things on the sides are supposed to be. But it just doesn't work well for me. And the short and the, the, the attachments and the, the, the shoes just... Like you should have just worn like a black heel or something. Like just yeah, no. There's something because that I, while I the shoes look like they belong on a different outfit. They belong with another outfit. Yeah, I I no. I will make a reference weirdly to this later on. Okay, stay tuned. Uh, Miss Mercedes and Mon Diamond. So she looks really good. I really like this look. I'm not a big fan of her makeup. She does a lot of heavy, like, um, contouring. We've seen it on her in the past, mm -hmm. and this picture does not really help it any. She, I think she looked a lot better live when it was on, you know, when she was on screen. But, like, other than that, I like the look. I like the dress. I like the structure of it. Um, all the blinged out jewels. Um, it's very... It's, it, this is definitely not a pageant evening gown, but it's definitely like a pageant like look presentation. To it. Yeah, presentation to it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I I didn't hate it, but I also wasn't a huge fan of it. I was like, eh, it's okay. Like yeah. the panty underneath looked weird. It doesn't show up in this picture. Oh yeah. Like, I was like, okay, girl. I don't know. Also that that also like I'm if she was going for the gold accents in the um, dress, like the. Mm -hmm. The panty in the on the on the underneath was not the place to put that. Maybe in the shoe, if she had done like a golden red shoe, that would have been a better place. But the panty should have been red underneath, just to kind of keep that. Or going. just keep it the same color as the rest of your like tights, and then it would have looked like you just showing off your JJ. So, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like then it would have been a nude, and it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. No one, everyone would have been in talking about how she wearing no panties, which would be better than talking about how the gold panties don't match everything else. Yeah, there's that. All right, Miss Nina West with her oh. paper doll gown. So I will own, I will say this, I was like, oh, that's cute. Like from the, from the, when she first came out, I was like, oh, that's cute. Nothing really major. Oh, it's a paper doll. I get that. I got it. So she's meant to be a paper doll. And then she turned around. Thank you. <laughs> and then I like, yes, <laughs> like. I totally got it. I totally got everything that was going with it. I fucking love it. I love that there's this nude illusion on the back and butt like area mm -hmm. with the, definitely the you know jeweled and crusted stuff. Right. And then you get like this fabric. Like I'm assuming it was a more transparent fabric or see through fabric to right. kind of give the whole like look. And then you get her legs. And I'm just like, yeah. someone was thinking when they yeah. made this dress. It was like, it was uh, definitely conceptually well thought out, like 
it the granted the top like the 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 butt to the back the corset like that whole area isn't a in my opinion it's not a good match to yeah. Nina's like skin tone so that like bothered me mm -hmm. but at the same time like it's it looks it looks good with the dress so i'm kind of mixed about it yeah. but yeah right below the butt it's semi see-through and it doesn't show it in this image and i don't think i have it later spoiler alert um but <laughs> Like there is a distinct like when she walks away from the camera that you see amazing legs like mm -hmm. underneath like so oh yeah like yeah. it was it's, it was something else. It's just it's amazing. This was a great look. Love the hair. Love the whole design about it. Like I said again, like at first I was very much like, okay, that's that's nice. But then when she turned around, I was like, oh, I get it. Oh my god, that's amazing. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Plastic Tiara living her fantasy on stage, showing off to her native roots. Also looking like an albino peacock in a way. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not mad about it. I, I fucking love this. It was so pretty. So just like, I, just, I mean, just like it, my jaw dropped when I saw this because Every, like if you look at everything, like her makeup, her hair, everything, it just it just all just like works so well together. And then when she comes out with these basically wings on her arms and like like I don't I don't know <laughs> um, who like built this or designed this or if you got that from like you know wherever. Like kudos to whoever made this for you. Because it is it it is all striking. This picture, even though it is an awesome picture, still does not do it the justice. Like it is, I would have loved to have seen this, like in on stage. I would have loved to have seen this move, like fully and oh, because just the 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 the, the wing the, the feather thing on the back and just all just all just goes so, so well together. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's too much. It might could be someone might consider it too much, but it is just over the top in a great way. It's 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 a finale gown. Like I mean it's yeah. it's of the caliber of like what it is that you you know should be presenting in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh Miss Raja O'Hara. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so uh I'm okay with this. Like she kind of got read a little bit on fashion photo review. I don't dislike it. I also don't go nuts for it. Like this to me is like something I feel like I might see another time in another place. So uh -huh. I think just <sighs> how do I put this? This is a nice gown. But nice was not really what I was looking for for this event. Like this is the finale. This is the grand finale. This is where we're going to see, like, we're supposed to see, like, how far you've grown from the show to now. Right. You know, we get to see everything about you. You get to you get to essentially brand and name yourself. Obviously, for Raja, we are learning that purple is a color for her. Um, this is the second time we've seen her. Like we saw her in the reunion in a similar color. You know, but it was purple. It was along that purple spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, but again, like I, I, I think the the earrings are too big. I think the hair is too big. Um, it it just doesn't work. I like it, but I don't think it's like like finale. You know, runway thing. I will say this one thing. I wish she wasn't wearing the um, sheer glove. I think if she had just done like a bracelet, um, a ring, maybe a couple of rings to just kind of bring it all together. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't get the gloves. I don't think they work. Okay. Um, that's just me. I, I'm just, it looked great. Like her, it looks good against her skin. The color does. And I would have liked more skin to kind of give me that contrast that I want with this. Right. If that makes sense, which I think it does. 
Yeah. All right, Miss Scarlet Envy. Um, another person who has found a color that works for them. Um, that's not a read. Um, but it is definitely, he has definitely chosen like the red. What, girl? <laughs> You're like, it's not a read. I'm like, yes, but her name is also Scarlet. So I think she kind of announced to the whole world at the beginning that red's going to be her thing. Mm-hmm. But that's just me. And, but, you know, I love the structure. It obviously is um, a good color for her. I like the dress. Um, it definitely is a finale dress, I think. I don't think I would have seen this anywhere else. So good for her. Yeah. No, I I can't be mad about it. I, I, I liked it. I thought it was a real good thing for her. She looked good in it. She looked exuberant and happy. Like she just, she was mm-hmm. delivering really well in that case. Miss Sugar <laughs> Cane. So she comes out and uh, I don't have the pre to this, but like, so she's got this gown on of some sort and she's got roses and then she throws them down. It's very like mother, you know, uh, Mary, you know, high Uh priestess kind of thing. And then throws off this basic like overlay Mm -hmm. and then just has this like deep wine gown, this velvet gown underneath. Yeah. I wrote, I wrote down, um, Sugar, the queen of reveals. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, like, I think you should have learned better from your captain. Not that this was a bad reveal. I just think like this wasn't really the time or place for it. You know, you're not, you're not. I mean, unless that's what you want to be known for is like, you're going to wear an outfit, but there's going to be another outfit underneath. Like if that's going to be your thing, mm-hmm. go for it. Like kudos for you. But like. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not mad about it. Like, yes, I agree with you. Reveals was kind of the semi theme for the for the night. We'll get into mm-hmm. that later. Uh, but I mean, I'm not mad about this. Like, I think she looked gorge in it, and I uh, mm-hmm. I think she was just kind of having fun with the whole like premise and recognizing that like my ass is not like trying to compete for the crown. So I'm good. Like, look at me, ain't I stunning? I got, a, I got my own crown, right? My shiny radiance crown. <laughs> All right. First person out the gate was the first person eliminated, and it was Soju. Mm-hmm. I thought she looked beautiful. I, I did like, too. I was like, dang, girl. Like, okay, so you had like, I don't know, 11 months, mm-hmm. nine, 10 months, something to like <laughs> be oh. ready to, you know, come back. Yeah. To, to present so I thought that she looked you know really beautiful now the only thing that I found uh, I guess the word is uncomfortable is this cape off the, the back thing mm-hmm. like it was sort of semi stiff like it wasn't a flowy yeah like empress cape or whatever so it seemed a little odd to me maybe it's because of the material it was made out of like she turns around and it kind of like sharply moves instead of being like whew, it's kind of like yeah. like it cuts the air and i was like oh mm-hmm. it's like okay like there's definitely oh, excuse me Ooh, excuse me <laughs> there's definitely some structure to this dress um especially like the um middle part that's kind of the end of the top part if there's a if it's two pieces i don't know if it is or not Mm -hmm. So there's definitely this like structure built into it. And I think that may have been the downfall of it. It doesn't, like you said, it doesn't flow as good as like if it had just been like fabric. Right. I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it. Yeah. No, And I I kind of agree. Like, eh, it's okay. Like, I mean, it's not, it's not the best thing in the world, but at the same time, like, it's okay. We're going to be all right with it. Uh, And then of course, last but not least, Miss Vanessi, I have to say, I was not ready for this, but I am okay with it. Because <laughs> she served body yaddy yaddy. Like you mm-hmm. can't believe in this like animal print mm-hmm. onesie with a semi sheer front with a harness with a black panty and bra mm-hmm. underneath. Like it is 
if if this is even possible, the highest level of glamour, like street hooker banji, like <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, and no, it had this cape thing with a hood. She totally was channeling Shania Twain, like at the very beginning when she first walked out. Oh yeah, she hadn't been wearing the cape and the hood or anything from anything I saw prior to like this moment on purpose. So then it was meant to be dramatic. She, you know, she has the hood up and then she kind of takes it down and immediately like takes off the cape and then whirls it around and stomps mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it works. I like it. Yeah. So it was. Uh, it was good. I can't really, you know, be unhappy with it in that case. Um, so there are other individuals that, uh, end up making entrances as well that, uh, I wanted to talk about, of course, but before we get to the other person's entrance, uh, that's coming up next, I want to point out like something I found very interesting about the Queens in this moment. And I don't know mm -hmm. if you blocked this, Damon. Uh huh. So before the big entrance comes about in this case of course now i'm waiting for windows which i hate the passion of a thousand sons to like share the image oh come on i should know better why would anything ever want to work right you know mm -hmm. like we have lives and other things that we want to be doing <clears throat> <laughs> So now I've got a little blue spinny wheel of death that isn't doing anything. Oh, lovely. Love it. 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 <laughs> Eric. What did you boot, 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 Eric? I wasn't sure who we were talking about when you said that. Um, huh. I'm curious now. I think it was Kahana. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> Great. Now my Google Chrome is like not responding at all. <sighs> la la la. Mm, tasty. It's going to really fry my ass. Because, you know, my whole computer is just going to lock up on me now. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Seriously, can't just like, <laughs> like any buttons anywhere do anything. Oh, Philip says that he Eric was booting Raj's look. Oh. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> that was fair. <laughs> I mean, it was a thing. Well, I can, well, let me, I will say this. I can start this a little bit. I did say the, the queens came to slay in regards to these entrances. I know that a lot of them probably put a lot of coin, <laughs> are made some favors made, got some favors made or done to get this, these dresses made. And it showed, um, with the exception of a few, I feel like everyone like brought it. Um, it was it was one of the best um, like just entrances for the girls that I've seen in a long time. I really liked, I, there were, like I said, there are very few that I weren't, wasn't a big fan of. Um, Roger was one. Um, Kahana was another that was kind of like, uh, but overall, like, I feel they all kind of came up with this idea or they came to like win this thing and not win it, but just like show that they've done a lot more and gotten a lot better over time. Um, cause we know how long it's been since they recorded the show till they do the finale. So they've passed some time to adjust. Yep. 
to look on your face, Gary. Oh my God. <laughs> what, like I want to drop a bomb on the world? No. Oh yeah. Me. Not in this moment. Not no, because my no. computer's locked up and nothing is working. Oh no. Uh oh. I think you may have locked, locked, locked. Hmm. Yep. It's just me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Do, do, do. So, since it's just me for at least for a little bit, does anyone else in the live chat have anything to say? <laughs> it is my show. Uh, my show, my show, my show. Oh, wait, you're back. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> uh do 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 it's the, it's the Damon, Damon show, show. Mm -hmm. all that all right well, I, I just asked if they had anything else to say while we waited for you to return i know so let's try this shall we oh wait oh he boot vandy's look too oh see i'm on the fence about it okay go ahead what were you what were you going to say oh what's this all right did you notice this no. So there's about to be a big like entrance on the stage. Nain is the first one that I clocked. There's a big like flourish of music, and all of a sudden, Nina takes the stance. And then oh. I look over, and there's Scarlet, and there's Kahana. So no, not Kahana. That's Mercedes. Or sorry, Mer sorry, Mercedes. And even necessarily Plastique, although these three happen to be in red, and I was paying attention to the hands placement. Oh gosh. So, are you are you wondering who was about to who was about? Oh, to... I know who's about to come in. Just, right. Yeah. This is this is this is the the grand the grand entrance. Right. So I found it really interesting that like you know the drum roll starts and then I look I watch it and I was like, all right, Nita West. All of a sudden she takes a pose, just like a pageant girl, puts her hand on her thigh like have this like kind of presentation look because then of course dun 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 come through mama roo definitely yeah. and my favorite part about when she when the curtain comes up and she gets revealed is the mean mug look <laughs> she is siri us <laughs> but i also love how she's like what? Me? Who? Me? Right. <laughs> this whole Me? thing. Like, come on, girl. <laughs> you, you, you of all people, like, I'll, I'll throw it for you. You of all people know this fucking thing is all about you, honey. We should know that. You should know that by now. And if you don't know it by now, like, she knows it. She knows you, it. You know what the fuck is going on. She knows like, it. This, this pose is everything. Say what? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I agree with you, Philip, in the, in the live chat. That dress was bright. There was a couple things about this dress. I love the dress. I like the structure. I like the fabric that was used. The color was a little bright, but if you pay attention, she's always against a, a dark backdrop. It's always like a midnight blue, a deep purple. Like, uh -huh. like it's very specific, like how she uh, is like back. Background like, behind, behind, behind but, her. <laughs> this dress, I think it's been a long time since Mama Roo's had learned how to walk or remembered how to walk in a dress that that falls on the floor. 
because about seven times I clocked, she stepped on the dress. Like uh -oh. while she was walking, while she was moving, it was always her right side that caught because the slit is on the left side. Her, she was always like, and I thought, oh girl, she's going to fall down. And I bet you, she was oh. thinking that the whole time. So I don't know if Zaldi made this one or not, but I was like, she probably hasn't been in a gown that like, that gathers and falls around the feet. And it's very difficult to move in. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah. So that was a, that was a thing, but yeah, the, uh, the girls like their, their hand stuff. Let me jump back to that. Hey, everybody look at my drive. Um, like the, the music comes on kind of thing. And then I was like, Oh, look at that. Like, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. like they're all getting ready to just like, Come be on. still for the, for the presentation thing. Yeah. That presentation, that presentation stance you took. Come on. Well, you know, it's, it's a thing and I'm not uh, mad about it necessarily in that case. Wait, uh, you know, what do you, what are you thinking about it? Like, or, <laughs> give you that stance that like mm -hmm. i can't stand because you know, yeah but you know no i understand how that is hand on hip you know hand on thigh hand on hip shoulders in mean mug or mug to the face like front yeah yeah you know. uh and then uh of course we have to have the introduction of the um top four mm -hmm. to come so miss akiria okay I, i'm gonna be the only I, I i'm gonna have to say this i don't know how to say this i do not like this okay i don't I, it, it's just like it's just too much there's a lot of fucking feathers. It's uh, it <laughs> looks like a dress, but it's actually pants. Um, I don't know care for the shoe. I just uh, I'm sure she maybe made it herself, but it just it just feels like just so much. Like she almost feels she's almost being swallowed by the feathers, and that's maybe what I'm not liking. But again, I, you know. Well, maybe she was coming out of a bird's butt. She's being born <laughs> instead of it being an egg. Like, because, yeah, I agree with you. Like, I think Raja had made a comment about her being swallowed up by the feathers. But at the same time, like, the feathers were a beautiful, luxurious, gorgeous look. Like, it was very rich for the finale. It was like, it made a lot of sense. But, yes, at the same time, it also was a little confusing. Yeah. Yeah, but it was, it was also, like, it was also an S&M piece. And by S and M, I don't mean kink. I mean standard model. Standard model. Mm -hmm. She was just showing off for everybody. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a carrier, and then the Queen of the North, Miss Brooklyn appears. Shit. Like I thought. So you thought plastique was like coming with the all white, like goodness. Then Brooklyn does this. I love it. I'm okay with it. Like, here's my thing. It feels a little underserved. Like, it feels a little small. I agree with Raja that perhaps, or Aquaria, one of them in the toot and boot, like, it should have been a bigger headdress. There should have been something more about it. I felt like I was getting, like, Elsa's other unknown sister from Frozen <laughs> that we haven't met yet. I'm not quite sure what was going on. I will give her recognition that the nude illusion fabric at least was much closer to her skin mm -hmm. than the twins. I mean, the family resemblance episode. So Ooh, let that go. <laughs> I know, never <laughs> until they rename it. And Danny DeVito gets to be a guest judge along with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hell no. So I just know like I, uh, <laughs> no. But anyways, I thought it, I thought it looked good, but it was also looked a little weird. Like there's danglies on her left side of her headdress, but not on the right side. There was just something kind of like mm. that seemed strange to me. Also, I would have appreciated if her face had been more incorporated. Like Brooklyn mm. can paint a mean mug, but I was like, this felt very worn, very put on. And I was like, really, girl? Like you couldn't like have applied some stuff to your face to like I don't know. <laughs> anyways. 
like some white crystals or something under yeah. the eye or something. On the, anyway, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Agree. Something. something. All right. And then the <sighs> one, the only. Thank God. <laughs> Silky Nutmeg Ganache shows up in her roach outfit, which I had already seen shots of previously. So I was like, oh, so we're wearing that. Now, a lot of people have been talking about how this is a tribute to Alaska. And also recognition of um, hairspray. From hairspray with Tracy Turnblad. Uh, and then, of course, it was meant to be a callback to the fact that she was supposed to be a fly, but she was supposed to be a roach because she didn't have wings, blah, blah, blah. That whole thing from the Face Keeney episode. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And then she quickly takes that off. To reveal this <laughs> jazzled like pants Pant suit dude. with a mismatched new delusion. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> but I like <laughs> the fact that Rue was so impressed. It was like, like she like, turned like off screen to the audience and is like, "Girl, everybody see this business." <laughs> like I, I appreciated all the 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 jewels like all over the place although i will clock her for um not matching both dresses so like like a um, aquaria and raja on the fashion photo review do clock her for the jewels not being the same cut like a mat not matching the the pink dress right. they obviously kind of match this a little bit more but like you should have gone with either a clear or a or a black kind of jewel to kind of go with everything else. I would have preferred a black jewel, right? Just because it would have gone with both. I just feel so weird about this because I'm kind of like there's a part of me that's like you're. I I don't like saying this, but I feel like your personality really got you to top four, and that's the only reason that you're here because this feels very baby gay first pageanty to me. It doesn't seem to like be the way we want it to be. I'm almost mm -hmm. like, please, would you go talk to Delta Work? Would you talk to Darian Lake? Would you talk to another big girl who knows how to properly dress themselves? Even Yuri mm -hmm. O'Hara, like somebody would have made you realize that there would have been much better choices to go with. Yeah. I just I I oh, I'm so fucking mad at this new delusion in the middle. Like I just I am mad. Like I like of all the things like this in this point at this stage in the game, at this is the final this is your like not final runway per se, but this is like the last opportunity that the you know the real big one that they get to see you in, and you you do this reveal, and it is clear. That you are wearing, you know, a, a nude illusion. And we have seen you wear things that cut at your waist and right. are, you know, see like we can see your 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 actual like skin underneath it. And I personally would have preferred that than this. Right. I agree with you. Like, even like if you're all about body positivity and being a big person in that, like uh, all season long, we saw your stretch marks, girl. Like we saw your yeah. real skin. It's like, we know that you're a big girl. You got a big round middle area. You're very pear shaped, just like others of us. So it's, uh -huh. you know, you weren't, you weren't hiding anything. If you had been doing that all season long, then it would have made more sense. But I agree with you, Damon. Like, no, like it's just, and it's not the right color. Yeah. Like it's you are, you are no... not that, you are not that color of personal color. And I just think it, I'm just, just I wish like, okay, let me put it like this. I would have personally preferred that she had worn just the roach dress. Oh, nah. Like, not that it's a bad thing, but like, if she just like owned that and kept I, it on. Yeah. But that's maybe, not her thing. And then on top of it, like, the reason why this was such a big deal for her is because it is that it shimmies. Yeah. And that's why the, yeah. any picture I tried to capture was just like a shit show. Like that's, another, <laughs> that's just a general complaint I have about all these girls. Some girls understand how to stand and pose. Some girls understand that like, you know, if you want to get screenshots or have pictures or whatever, that you need to be able to like stand still for a second or two, as opposed to constant movement, which is why some of the pictures like, granted, this is a standard definition, like screen capping, but come on. It's like, yeah. everything is just blur, 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 blur. Yeah, and I'm like, not... I, I just, I'm, oh my God, I'm just, I am, like I said, I'm mad at this whole middle section here. I don't think it would have worked for her. It, it doesn't work for her. It doesn't help her to me in any way, shape or form. And I think it, it just distracts right. from what this all was. 
if he had like again, like why why make it pants? Why not make it a dress? Why 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 not make it just a full on like cover that rest of that nude illusion bullshit that's there and just would have made it like a like floor to you know or not floor but chest to floor like fringy outfit that like you have on and it made it like a gown. I agree. It would have been far better if it was just a gown from the bus down. Mm-hmm. That rhymed. That was fun. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> as, as opposed down to the, from the bus down. Ugh. Right. As opposed to this pantsuit shit with the like the nude illusion in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's, she, it doesn't work. She did what she wanted. Was she a genie? What were we trying to do? Like I don't know. Boof, be gone. And she is. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Evie Oddly serving body yadi yadi yadi. Literally. Literally with a gown, with an exploding skull. Like like her brain can't handle this. Her mind is blown. <laughs> that is the imagery. I totally got it. I was living for it. I was completely gobsmacked when she came around and I was like, this is higher like couture like dream gown like yeah it was Mm -hmm. it was amazing i was absolutely blown away by it i did like this i actually really like this i think it was a great idea creative and fun and odd which was a good on trend for her but also a bit of glamour like i love her fucking makeup in this i love the the jewels like just the little understated like bracelets on her wrist just enough like it's just a little bit to kind of put everything together like go Evie like this was good I don't I I, would I have liked it if it had been there had been maybe a little bit more yeah probably but I like what we got yeah I mean I I, I'm not mad about it I it it's what I once I I mean it's Evie like that's the other thing that was so apparent was like some of these girls, it is classic who they are, so you don't question it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was it was it was good in that case. Um, there's also a, another uh, individual. There's others. Uh, there was actually a whole other folder of stuff, but I'm not going to get into it. But I definitely also want to give recognition to one of the grandest entrances that we got, because Lord knows you cannot not talk about entrances and not talk about the one entrance that I think stole the show. Oh, (laughs) bitch. (laughs) I have said on record that when Violet Tchotchke returned for her, like, de-crowning or whatever you want to say, her step aside, step down, all that jazz... I thought that was the look of all looks because she had that like crazy latex applique mm-hmm. that that jeweled like but insect gown thing like oh with the vein and all that shit. I still think it's like one of the best looks ever served in the entire history of, the, of all the series. But then Aquaria shows up as a phoenix like with some of the best lighting and the mood and the look <laughs> and the mug and I was like girl like, like, you know, like, she's who, just who she's, the fuck? Like, <laughs> I, I, uh, like I loved, like again, like plastic gave me, like gave me life. This one just killed me and resurrected me again. Get the phoenix. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> totally got it. Yeah, like it just it's. It's on par, like up there with like, like you said, violets, like return. Yeah. Those are the two things, like of all the ones that I remember, I, I will always remember violets and I will always remember this. Yeah. This, this is whole Phoenix kind of thing. Oh my God. Stunning. And the last frame of her in the whole like reveal and pose, I thought was amazing. I it's the perfect, like, smug look on her face that is basically saying, well, of course you can eat it. I'm serving it, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Would you like a bite? 
Would you like a taste? Yeah. Killed oh, it. Killed, killed it. Killed, killed it. it. Yeah. That's how you do feathers, honey. That's that's how you serve a look. Like that was just uh, yes. Now, some people might call it costumey. Well, I say fuck them. <laughs> it is a costume. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. It's drag can be costumey. Yeah. I'm, fucking, I'm so over that fashion bullshit. That's the one thing I will say I'm over. Like I'm tired of like drag queen like calling like the like drag stuff costumey. Well, duh. Like sometimes that's just the way it is. Like right. Like I, I hate it when they called it in on um Cameron Michaels and her season. Like if they had called this costumey, I would have been like, bam, just right. shut up. So Sorry. overall, my thought on the entrances was that this was your last impression dolls. Like you do okay. not know when you're gonna get another chance to have the international stage of attention. So some of them rose to the occasion. <laughs> Some of them kind of tripped on their own, whatever. Mm -hmm. Something. So that being said, uh, you ready to move on to talk about lip sync for the crown part Go one? For <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay. So where? What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Pick myself up. Turn the world on its head. Don't forget what. Don't forget what my mama said. All right, so lip sync for the crown part one. All four queens have to come out. Uh huh. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> crawl out. Mm, I just, I was not ready for this. <laughs> and this this is what I was not ready for. If I have not ever seen what looks like one of the craziest like <laughs> reality show competition side by side lineups ever. I mean, I've got obviously Dance Girl on the left. I've got BDSM like Mistress <laughs> uh -huh. followed, followed by uh uh, a person of 70s, color, troll doll, disco. 70s disco, followed by everything that was left behind on the planet of misfit toys. <laughs> like, I just, <sighs> girl, like, I, 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 I mean, yeah, I was just, like, what, what, what was, what was actually going on, like at this moment? Like, so it, it does. It's not as bad as like last seasons. Like, like you know, we saw Asia with the big ass. Like, well, we found butterfly the kids, ungas. the big wazungas, and like, um, I, but um, I, a, a queer, a queer, Aquarius, Aquarius. A pop outfit, <laughs> <laughs> like Tiffy pop bullshit, and like. Like, <laughs> like my whole like whole like I bet there's gonna be a reveal. You bet you damn not there's gonna be a fucking reveal. Like this gave me like, but this one gave me like what yeah. the like of the like like I'm just gonna like I'm gonna say this as I look at this picture. Like Akira looks like she don't even know what the fuck she's at. Like she looks like a like a um, like a college or high school dance team, like dance team girl, next to like like she walked on stage like accidentally, and she's like, "Oh shit, I need to get back off stage." Um, yeah, Brooklyn. Oh my god, this whole like rubber latex fantasy, um, mm -hmm. fantasy. <sighs> I mean, I'm not hating it, but. You know, you know, you know, there are some leather daddies out there who are wanting this boy so uh -huh. bad now to be, uh -huh. their, to, be the, to be their sub. Like that's just uh -huh. that's all there is about it. They're like blonde, pretty, long legged, nice booty thighs. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. 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 So and Aaron. Then Sorry, Eric says in the live chat, it's funny though, because these four standing there truly subbed up the whole season and just looks 
And that's the T. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Truth. All right. So we got to spin the wheel. Mm -hmm. And dun, dun, dun. Nobody is shocked by who the wheel lands on as the very first person that's going to be lip syncing. That may be the person who got it landed on. Like, I was, okay, sorry, I have to say this right now. Like, I, I hated this hair. <laughs> it, it, it is so fucking obvious that there's something underneath it. Like, there's no way you are wearing that big of fucking hair and going to dance around and do whatever in any of the songs it would have been lip syncing for. Well, like, I think if she had quaffed it a little better to look like Diana Ross's hair, then we might not question it so much. But yeah. it, looks, it looks messy. Yes. So like, who this for you? Who do you, who owes you a refund? Because like, <laughs> like, like, I, I, I get that it was literally going to come off. I'm sure that's the point. But the idea usually for a hair like this for a reveal is that you don't see it coming. As this as reveal. Trixie said that Katya said on their show, uh, a true reveal is not expected. Yeah. This is clear to me as like, like the sun in the sky and the moon at night. Like this is clear that you are going to pull this off. Yeah. The hair, at least. Not the whole damn thing, which, yeah, we know. But go yeah. ahead. Continue. Sorry. All right. So it lands on Silky. Silky has to decide. It is very dramatic. And then she chooses. And the, and the most oddest moment of the entire season, she chooses Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knows to my knowledge yet why she chose Brooklyn because everybody's like wait you chose the dancer of all the people to compete against you chose the dancer you didn't choose your mortal enemy Evie you didn't choose Akira who is somewhat of a dancer but not really a dancer dancer she's just a performer on stage uh huh like you chose okay dancer. girl you chose the dancer. Like, okay, I would have been, okay, let me, again, I keep saying this, but like, like, I would have looked to my left. So if I were Sophie, I would have looked to my left and saw Evie wearing all of this shit. I don't know if you would have saw what all she had on. Maybe she had something underneath you. Would, you don't know. I mean, I don't know. Was there going to be a reveal? I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on there. She's probably not going to really move too much. And I would look to my right and pick the girl that literally looks like she's a could like dance the house down. And then next to her is someone who is wearing a fringy dance number, you know, costume, like literally is wearing a dance outfit. Which one would I have picked? Well, see, that's the whole key. Like we're not, we're not her so why would we yeah. apply any logic that way whatever could have done anyway so she chooses brooklyn they're quite the oddball couple pair you know it's a thing they're classing immediately yeah, yeah well really you know <laughs> um and then they have to choose a box i thought it was funny because there were two boxes. Jason and Bryce were there. Jason had box number one. Bryce had box 96. Box 96. One of the best callbacks yes. to all of ours, like in a fucking hysterical moment. And Brooklyn gets to choose the box because Silky chose the was the first pick and then chose the competitor. So big surprise. Dun dun dun. She chooses. Box 96, which turns out to be bootylicious. Oh, no. A big girl doing bootylicious. It is, it's going to be so close to call. Oh, you're being super shady. 
<laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. Can you well, see <laughs> I will say this, like, there was actually some criticism about how it was Bootylicious by Destiny's Child, and yet the two that were performing aren't exactly known for their booty. So there was actually, Trixie at Roscoe's had the, one of the best comments, and was like, you know, Akira was backstage, it was like... <laughs> like, pointing at her ass, like, uh, hello? God... Because before they do the finale, my understanding is they get a list of songs. Like, they don't get the exact songs. They get a list of songs which include what the songs could be. So they have to prepare. If there's going to be three songs performed, they probably get, like, at least nine or 12 songs. Okay. Knowing that something in the list is what they're what they're going to be lip syncing to. Mm -hmm. So there's some preparation, quote unquote. But it is not perfect preparation because you just don't know which one's going to be picked for what round or what. Mm-hmm. So Philip says I wanted to see Akira do the song, and I don't. Yeah, I don't blame him. I would have loved to have seen Akira to do this song. Yeah, <laughs> she would have twerked the house down for sure. There's no oh, doubt. Oh yeah, she would have not done that. All right, so let's listen to the first clip because I got, I got two of them here, and then we talk about this lip sync. <laughs> Stand behind me. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like one of the best moments of the entire finale. Yes. I have to believe that that was unscripted. I have to believe it that. It was. Because Rue just drops all like formality and says, two queens stand behind me. And then just completely starts to crack up. And she's like, I've always thought that was funny. <laughs> like, it just like. It always makes me laugh. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was like, yes, honey, yes. Like, that's, <laughs> that's the reality of that. Mm-hmm. So she she composes herself, and then we go for part two, in this case. Uh, and she, you know, kind of pulls it together, um, you know. So, and talk about a look. I mean, if there isn't anything more epically like like revealing and like interesting, is this triangle effect of the three of them uh, Brooklyn just kind of blends into the background yet stands out because she's in the black and red like the set yeah much. and poor silky she just <sighs> well she contrasts so much as i mentioned like she does but she kind of looks like i don't know she looks like a lollipop that got dropped and picked up and it's got lint all over it and oh my god <laughs> i don't know there's just something about it it's like so i'm gonna say this like i didn't i didn't catch this the first time i looked at the episode mm -hmm. um catching his picture like silky looks concerned like her hand like her body like her posture right now that doesn't look like the posture of a girl ready to like do like something like great, like to like slay this runway or slay this this lip sync. The hands are cold, held together. The you know I don't know if like I, again I'm, I don't know if maybe it was just because you caught it or if this was what she was doing at the time, but like look at look at Brooklyn's pose, like hand on hip hand down, you know, like hip, like. Right, like there's that. there's there's power pose. Like there's uh -huh. there's a ton of body language, like stuff that's being revealed in this moment. Um, I, there, I'll there i get to it later. I'll talk a little bit more about this, but there's definitely like, oh fuck moments. Yeah. And this is one of them I think for Silky is like, oh my God, it's about to happen. And here I am, like, and this is a thing, you know? And Ruth's just going through the motion. She's like, I have done this 10 times before like what five six times now in this style on the big stage like at the theater yada 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 mm -hmm. and brooklyn of course has traveled the world like you know and been a dancer so she's just like yes honey i'm here mm -hmm. like, so let's uh move on to take two shall we <laughs> mm -hmm. two please 
stand behind me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me. Save yourself from elimination. Time has come to lip sync for the crowd. All right, ladies, good luck and don't fuck it up. <laughs> so I love in the edit how immediately they go right into the music. Uh huh. When in reality, when they film it, they give a four count. Like there's this big audible beep. It's that it's that way for all the lip syncs. So mm -hmm. I love how in the edit, we think it's just like this smooth transition. As soon as Rue star stops talking, the music immediately starts when that's not yeah. really the case, but it sounds beautiful in the edit. Mm. All right. So, uh, yeah, so let's go through some of the pictures that I snapped from this. Um, reveal from Brooklyn that I did not see coming. Because she's already got this outfit on. And it's all these chains. It's it's bondage. It's like leather. It's pleather. I mean, it's latex. It's all sorts of stuff. And she grabs her zippers. And does this thing that she starts pulling up. And I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? And I, like, luckily I have it like, so I could go back and watch it again and catch this moment. Not knowing that she was literally pulling up pieces of her leg coverings to reveal that she is literally wearing black studded heels, but inside of them, she is actually wearing red points. Mm-hmm. And she kicked her shoes off to the back of the stage on purpose and then did the whole most like 90% of the rest of the routine on point. Yes. I was floored by this, how it came out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting it at all. And it that's what caught me the most off guard. It's like, oh shit. Like, like I didn't like, okay. So I know the first thing I noticed was there was these very long like chains and I noticed it like in the beginning and then I didn't see it and then I caught it again. Like, oh, she's got these really long ass chains like right in front. Like, I hope she doesn't trip. Like, that was my big yeah. thing. Like, I don't know what's going on there. And then you realize, oh shit, they're connected to her shoes. And then she pulls them off. Yeah. And, and surprises everybody with yeah. a reveal, a foot reveal. That has never been seen before. Foot reveal. This is my toes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in ballet, like point shoes. Yes. And I'm going to perform. And they're in a matching red color to go with my outfit. Because I'm a queen. Because I'm composed. It was crazy to me. Speaking of foot things. So immediately Silky throws off the big hair. Reveals different hair. And then, like, not to be outdone takes off the pink dress to reveal the bodysuit underneath. Now, in this particular picture, I have circled and highlighted the shoe because I have never seen anything like this before. So, Damon, I don't know if you know that this exists, but she has tights that are attached to her shoes, the bottoms of her shoes. At least that's the way it looks to me. And I was really, really surprised by this. It was only in the screenshot that I was able to catch it. And I was like, what is this magic? Like, no, I'm not really sure. And I might be miss seeing it, but it looks like the, like the silk, like the tight or something somehow is attached to the bottom. Like it's a cover. So it could be one or two things. So as I'm looking, I'm trying to look at this a little bit closer and a little bit more. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to like zoom in, but that's not going to do very good. As I look at it, I bet it's not a like, attached to the, the actual her her tight it might be a uh illusion on the shoe itself oh you know what and that makes more sense because there's all this rhinestone and stuff mm -hmm. so, so it, it could have been, cover up the edges yeah it could be that and it could it could also be unfortunately that she just has really big feet that we've never really looked at and seen before 
Um, and I guess they just look this way, which is unfortunate, but is also possible. Um, not necessarily misshapen, but just a, a weird, like, thicker foot. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just, there's something about it. Like, I just was like, yeah. what in the heck? I was like, because I was too busy paying attention to Brooklyn's, like, toes. And then mm -hmm. I was trying to catch this other reveal thing. Um, speaking of Brooklyn, then she decides she's going to use the back of the stage as part of her performance and do a handstand up against the door, which I thought was really fucking risky because the doors move. Mm -hmm. And they're not made of like metal like it, i mean it's a stage you know they're yeah. it, it's not real so i was like holy shit like that's very interesting that she chose to use a, a part of the stage to perform against and that we know that it's not like that steady mm -hmm. so she does this handstand business while continuing to lip sync the entire time because mm -hmm. she knows the words and does that whole thing and then silky does the wig reveal no one saw coming that a lot of people seem to be talking about, which I have to give props to Roxy Andrews, step your game up. If you're going to take your hair off and have other hair, perhaps you should try ripping it in half and yes. take two wigs that are together to reveal underneath. Now I am not happy about the way this looks. Oh, this yeah. looks like the shittiest Elsa I ever paid for for a birthday party <laughs> for Frozen. <laughs> the hair yeah. is flat. It does not look good. As I think Trixie said or made the comment, why would you wig reveal to worse hair and then wig reveal to worse hair? Like that's not how <laughs> you're supposed to do that. <laughs> that's like that was like Sugar Cane's caftan look. Like uh -uh. yeah, mm -mm. yeah, mm -mm. like like I. I will own I loved the split hair reveal. Like I thought it was the most amazing thing. Not the well, it's the most amazing thing we've seen from her. Right. Um, but it was really awesome. Like the whole like like pulling her from the sides as opposed to just doing like a quick back or hair reveal. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Great idea. Um, however, that wig looks like it was twenty nine ninety five at the uh, wig shop at the corner or downtown. Right. It's kind. Of, maybe it's a lace front. I can't really tell from here. I don't. I'm looking at the picture, and I, I know, know it I'm looks like it's hot. a hard front. It don't look good. I see the tape yeah. underneath. Like it's just. Yeah. It just doesn't work. And and. But it gets better. Like you'll see it in a picture or two. Like somehow the hair looks and gets better. But I'm not really mm. sure how that happened. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> magic of television. Um, <laughs> so, and then there's this moment. Silky decides to throw herself to the ground, booty and back first, and they added a bad sound effect to the um. edit. Cause she's a big girl and I couldn't even bring myself to really capture the screenshot of her rolling around <laughs> on the stage. And I mean, rolling, rolling. around mm -hmm. girl. The only time I expect to see that move is if you are trying to do Tina Turner. Roll on river. Yes. And then it might make sense why you are literally rolling around the stage. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't think of a reason why you would throw yourself on the ground and just roll so, around. It's funny you mentioned that. There's a queen here locally um, that that's one of her like go to moves. But she actually also like strips everything. Like she takes off her wig and takes usually takes off her dress. Or whatever she's wearing, um, maybe takes off the jewelry, and so she's got bald head, you know, makeup on. Um, she wears a um, bodysuit, like full bodysuit, to give her the shape, um, body shaper, I guess. But no, it's a full-on bodysuit, and then she like rolls on the floor. Um, it was funny the first couple of times. After a while, it kind of got like repetitive. Old. Yeah, yeah, and old. Yeah. Um, and no, Eric, that should not have happened. I'm not even going to read that out loud. Shame. Uh-oh. 
So they finish up the <laughs> they finish up the the lip sync, and uh, this is the end result of that. Whoops. Uh-oh. Is that right? No, I don't have I don't have that. Never mind. I thought I had a sound effect. <laughs> so I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna say this right now. Um, like my kind of big thing was reveals, reveals, reveals. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved it. I didn't love it. Um, as but I will say this much. Um, as I believe, as I go back to the chat. Um. Yeah. Philip says all the reveals besides Silky's were great and not the forefront of the performance. They were to enhance the performance, not be the performance. And I will I will say that much is true. Like a lot of the reveals, I mean, Silky's were just reveal on reveal on reveal on reveal, which is doesn't always work. I will own, I loved her like side like wig reveal thing, but I did not like what came out underneath it. Um, the wig, like I said, suddenly looked better, which I guess is maybe because it wasn't matted down anymore because it was under the all this wig hair. Two wigs. Uh, two wigs, three wigs. If you count the wig, she was the big ass afro she was wearing beforehand. Well, right. I consider that one, and then I consider the one she ripped apart as two. Oh. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of weight. I mean, and that's, you know. Mm-hmm. So she had a yeah. moment to be able to try to just it up. She probably so. just did like on the sides or something to kind of get it going. Um, but again, like it's great when a reveal adds to it as, as opposed to like the tracks. You know, the on point for Brooklyn was a great idea. I don't know who made those for her, but kudos to them for doing that. Because that's the shit that like I liked. Um now, granted, obviously, she had to wear the heels and put the point shoes on underneath it um, to kind of give the reveal going. But it, the way she revealed it was right. Awesome. Well, I had to go back to be able to figure out how she did it because I thought, do you mean to tell me she did the entire first part of the number on point and we didn't pick up on it? <laughs> like they were just like kind of spat covers. Like I didn't understand what happened. I was so confused because I was like, wait a minute. Like she was seriously just on point the whole time and we didn't know she was on point. Mm. But no, she was actually in actual heels walking around. Mm-hmm. So the heels are probably a little bigger than her normal heel foot size. Probably so that she could wear the points inside and all that kind of jazz and have the zippers to re- do the reveal yeah. and, and stuff. But still fucking amazing. Yeah, it was. Go ahead. It was. It was something else. So, uh, yeah, we en- so we end up with the the. I guess it's not really a reveal. It's. Hey, here's the final. Here's the not the final two. Rue says, you know, she's going to talk about um, who is going to get it, and of course, then we cut to commercial because that's how that works, and then we come back, and. The winner is Brooklyn Heights. Ooh. Now, I want to talk about this. So I'm watching it the second time, and I'm like, what the hell happened to Brooklyn? Did she get hurt? Because she looks like she got a bruise on her arm, like on her mm-hmm. shoulder, down her arm. And I was like, well, she was rolling around like on the ground at one moment. She kind of threw herself around and she has chains and buckles and shit on. So maybe she did hurt herself somehow. Mm-hmm. Now, right before this, when Brooklyn is announced the winner, Evie gives her a big hug. You mean, you mean, or, sorry, Silky. My bad. <laughs> Silky <laughs> gives her a big ass hug. It puts her face into her shoulder and her arm. So it's makeup. Yes. That would be Silky's makeup smudged all over Brooklyn's upper arm <laughs> and shoulder. <laughs> what are you doing, David? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm looking for the holy shit. Like, did we not like spritz the makeup like to like make it matte? Like, did we not do a finisher spray? Did we? I know you're a big girl. I know you're probably sweating. You had all those wigs on and all that other shit. But um, there are 
tips and tricks to make sure that that don't happen. Ooh, no, she better don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. So yeah, that just floored me to no end. I was like, what the hell happened to Brooklyn? And I was like, wait, it can't be a bruise. That showed up too fast. Yeah. Like, you don't bruise in seconds. And then I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It's Silky's makeup smeared on her arm. I was like, because I thought, I imagine Brooklyn went backstage and was like, what the hell? Like, what is this? What happened here? Because she has to get ready for, you know, the second lip sync. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's a whole thing. Uh, for me, I basically said, was this even fair? Mm-hmm. Because Brooklyn had the upper hand advantage of being a dancer. And, like, she did, I mean, they pulled stunts, technically. Like, Brooklyn's reveal of the foot of the foots <laughs> of the feet <laughs> uh, is kind of a stunt. The handstand sort of a stunt. You know, she threw herself mm-hmm. on the ground, you know, does a split thing, does hairography. Silky throws herself on the ground, does like two wig reveal things, uh, dress roll reveal, roll. follow, sorry, a cover with a dress reveal with the bodysuit yeah. reveal. Anyways. So, <laughs> Eric, I, says, to ask, <laughs> Eric says about Silky. I mean, she does drag on a dime with her makeup, so. <laughs> it's probably the, Anyway, you can hairspray that shit. Yeah. You, you could have you you aqua netted that instead of, like, put, using setting spray. Just saying. Anyway. But I don't, I don't think it was a, I mean, it wasn't really a setup per se. I think. Silky, for some reason, went that route. I don't know if she was trying to get rid of competition or if she thought she could somehow beat the dancer on the show in a lip sync dance competition. But whatever it was, it just did not. Yeah, like, boop. <laughs> it was her. Said it. Like, she did it. Like, she put it on herself. And I'm not trying to be mean. Actually, I'm totally trying to be mean. But, like, you put that on yourself. Like no one you had you had three other girls to pick three girls to pick from. Right. And you picked the one that you knew could potentially outdance you. Right. Like again, like I said, I would have looked around and the one person I probably would have picked was Evie. Evie had all that shit on. There's no way she would have been able to move as much as you did. And I know you wouldn't have known what song was go- what was going to be, but still, like, right. Anyway, okay, you ready to move on to part two? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All Go right, so round two leaves the other two contestants. So it's Akaria versus Evie. If there isn't anything more yet again of a like opposite couple pairing that you could put together <laughs> side by side, pageant queen, non pageant queen. Some might say polished and poised. Some might say, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> Sloppy and what? Right. Yeah. So it's a thing. Um, they get the remaining box, box one. And Jason reveals that the song that they're going to be competing to is SOS by Rihanna. Uh, okay. I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> me neither so I was like oh alright that's a thing like and I guess that's what we'll do like I just don't <laughs> care about that so let's continue two queens stand behind me ladies 
This is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. Time has come. Lip sync. Luck and don't fuck it up. And then it is on. And we begin the competition. <laughs> so pretty early on, Akira does her reveal, which I saw coming. I was like, oh, she got a jacket on. She got to throw her jacket off. Like, yeah, big surprise. So, I mean, it was kind of a, an expected dance thing. Mm -hmm. I will say that I kept wondering the entire time if Evie had a reveal planned and we just didn't know what it was going to be. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, she got something up her sleeve. Well, not actually up her sleeve. <laughs> she actually had something planned here. Now... Here's the issue that I had with this. I literally put my head up in front of my face to shield my eyes because I thought we were about to have Asia O'Hara part two. That oh. the reveal would not go as planned and it didn't work because this is a screenshot. So you could actually attempt to read what her bright neon green panties say, which is free Britney. It's Britney, bitch. But when you're watching it live in a bar with a bunch of people and it's being streamed, you can't read because she pulls her skirt and stuff up and it's sort of blocking it kind of. And it's like for a second and then she puts it back down. And I was like, okay, I don't know what just happened. It said <laughs> something, but I didn't get to read it. And so I put my hand in front of my face and I thought, please don't let this be the butterflies all over again. Like, of all the things in the world I could not stomach if whatever Evie planned as a stunt didn't work. Yeah. So that really kind of concerned me greatly. Um, but, you know, she continued on because she doesn't know what the camera can and cannot see. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. And it wasn't like the thing that was going to like make or break her performance. Because she literally is the performance, which is the way that it should be in this case. I will say this. Akira looked amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, it was really great. It's, you know, it's a spangly, sparkly dance bodysuit thing. I did have an issue with the fact that the fabric wasn't as tight as I thought it should have been. Like... Mm. She's like, it's a little too big on her. I don't know if like she lost weight before the finale or something happened. I'm not, I don't get it. Like there was just this thing about that. It wrinkles in certain places. It's not mm -hmm. as stretchy as I was kind of looking for or hoping. So I don't, I don't quite know what was going on with that. But I mean, she, she's beautiful. She got a great mug on. She looks a little bit like Roxy Andrews in this moment. Now that I look closer <laughs> at her mug. So, you know, I mean, I can't be upset about that necessarily. Uh, but then we get Akira's other stunt. Where she does a split to the floor and whips her hair off. Like, off. Not back and forth, kids. Off. Yeah. Throws it to the ground and reveals that she's got spangly hair hiding underneath her actual wig. Which I thought this was an amazing reveal because I didn't see it coming. Yeah. I had no idea that there was other hair to come. Yeah, I didn't either. It definitely caught me off guard. Um, I will say I thought it could have like landed better because it looked very, again, the problem sometimes with like, especially under all these lights and all this shit is that things just suddenly become matted. Right. Um, whether it's sweat or whatever, but in this case, that's kind of what happened and it didn't really get its opportunity to fluff up as it were right now evie does a split and akira for some unknown reason decides to take a page from silky's handbook and roll around on the floor <laughs> trying now, to do like break dance moves 
Right. It's sort of breakdancey. It's apparently windmill kick leg extension shit. It was better done than Silky's, but the moment this started happening, I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why, why are you doing this? I don't girl. Oh. I was like, okay, I guess this is a new thing that the Queens do. And I don't know why they do it. And it scares me because it, it's just okay. like, it's not a thing. Before we move on from this picture. Yes. Who was that standing next to Rue? Over here? Yeah. Uh, that is Akira's mama. Uh, oh. And her grandmother's behind Rue. Oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Mama, and then and Grandma is behind. Hmm. Maybe. Huh. Now that would have been awkward. Yeah. Oh, Philip says in live chat the reveal look was Akira's look from the Queens Everywhere very video only in blue instead of black. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was very very similar. So, and then here's a little bit different side shot of like Akira with the blue hair, Evie ignoring her about to do a uh, uh, kind of like pose somersault type deal. What actually she does is she does a, a flip um, mm -hmm. forward and like does a full like over the head kind of thing. While Akira is on her knees, like in front of Rue and the crowd, she's not begging for mercy, but <laughs> she's she's doing choreography from the floor. I guess that's how I want to phrase it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. And then Evie ends the number. Yes. In this pose. Oh my god. Which oh, is kind of crazy. Like the more I look at it, I'm like, God, you really do look like like you just are the bottom of the toy chest, just <laughs> everything stuck together with like gum or something of some sort. I don't know what, but it's it's pretty crazy the way it is. I could agree, Philip. At least when Akira was on the ground, it was more break dancing versus Silky's fish flopping. Yeah. <laughs> Philip, could we see this looking red now? Oh, please. No, no, no. We don't need to see any more of these, like, same outfits, different colors thing. That's uh, enough of that business. Okay. Ooh. So, yeah, it uh, it was it was interesting, to, to say the least, how that comes about. So we end up then moving on to uh, Rue making the decision as to who's going to be the winner uh, of this. I honestly thought it was kind of close. Like I didn't mm -hmm. think it was real obvious as to who the winner was going to be. Yeah. Um, so this moment is very strange to me. I caught the screenshot on purpose. So Akira and Evie are standing side by side, waiting for Rue to make, you know, the announcement. Mm -hmm. And it's, there's sort of a dramatic pause. If you watch this moment again, it's really heartbreaking because Evie looks to Akira and she wants to put her hand out to hold her sister's hand when Rue announces who won the lip sync. Mm -hmm. Akira never locks, like loses her wherever her gaze is. She's like staring at the floor or something. Mm -hmm. And completely ignores Evie. Mm -hmm. So if you watch it, Evie turns and looks to Akira. She starts to move her right hand. Like she's going to reach out to her and then just doesn't like, and, and kind mm -hmm. of pulls back in awkwardly. Mm -hmm. It broke my heart because I realized Evie honestly was like, this is my sister. Like, this is a moment we're sharing it together. Akira was not in the moment, like not, on the same level, not the same way. I feel like Akira um, just, I don't want to say shut down, but I think she was very much like, she's very much in like, I hate to say a pageant mode. Uh, that's what where, I was thinking. 
she's pretty much going like this is me like i'm ready to just hear how it goes i don't care how it goes per se but i will i will react once i hear the end right so i'm focused i'm like ready to like wait for see what happens Right. No, and I agree. So that's the part that I thought was a little heartbreaking was that Evie was like mm -hmm. very much like, you know, she would have been that way with anybody. I don't think it mattered who it was. Like she was really like, oh my God, this is so crazy and amazing. And we're sharing it together. And I think because of a curious pageant background, she just kind of like, like was compartmentalizing. It was just like, okay, mm -hmm. so what's the results? Yep. And dun, dun, dun. Evie wins the round. <laughs> the look on her face when her name is announced is amazing. So, okay. She just was like, holy shit, I just won that round. And it starts to sink in really quickly. That means that she's going on to the final top two. Mm -hmm. So, that being the case, Damon, what did you think of the uh, Akira EV lip sync round? So I put down meh, mm -hmm. and I will tell you why I feel that way. It didn't, it, it, it didn't scream for me. I'm not like, unlike the one that we got with Brooklyn and Silky, where there was just all this stuff going on and everything was kind of not necessarily crazy, especially, but, but like there was a lot. And this one, I, from the get go, did not understand Evie's outfit. It just looked like it was a lot of shit, like kind of staple gun together, maybe. I don't know, but it just felt that way. And because of that, I kept like falling out of the like lip sync and more into like, there goes one of Evie's tentacles because it just flew off of her hand. And our, our, um, those boots probably are very hot and heavy because they're just like fur all over them. And I love Akira and I love this, you know, outfit and what she did, but I just, it just didn't like wow me. And because of that, like, I was just very like, about this lip sync. Nothing like intent in, in, enticed me. Uh, it wasn't fun. It just seemed like, let's just get through it. So kind of kind of got a met from me. I yeah, I, I don't disagree. I said, are they scared to stunt? And I and because Evie ultimately didn't do anything. I mean, she does she, the typical she, like she danced and she flashed her hoo-ha. There was a saying that you could read. Um but that was it. Like there was an I was like, I expected her to rip off that upper bodice thing and like have something yeah. underneath it. I was expecting something. I was expecting a reveal. Right. Like, I was expecting that to go off. And then when we got, like, halfway through the song and it hadn't gone off, I'm like, oh, and, um, so what are you going to do now? Because it seems clear you ain't taking it off, so you're keeping that on? Like, you're keeping, like, and, and like, <sighs> if she had, like, done, like, a spin, or something like have you ever seen like the Cinderella like fr mm -hmm. from the um the musicals where she spins and it just like all that shit kind of not really falls off but she comes out and she gets you get another outfit right if she had done like some shit like that I would have like passed out because that like was just so much there's just so much going on that I needed something cleaner. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, like something to just like stop distracting me with the big eyeball and the, the whatever this is and that thing over there and the fur boots and blah, blah, blah. Like I wanted something like simple, you know, a sequin, like whatever. But again, Evie is not usually simple. She's usually odd. She's artsy and, and what have you. Right. But I just, I was expecting more. So I, I, felt very I agree with you. I would have been impressed if she had taken like the one shoulder down and like the whole thing fell like very theatrically. And uh -huh. I don't know, she looked like she was at the top of a trash heap or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, like that. Yeah, it would have it would have been very interesting. All right. You ready to move on to our next segment? Mm hmm.
Okay. So let's talk about Miss Congeniality, shall we? Because that's how it was shown on the show, although that was not how it actually uh, was filmed. Because <laughs> when Aquaria appears, uh, you figure out that it's already been revealed as to who won. So <laughs> this is kind of this whole thing. It was like, oh, yeah, that's a that was a kind of a anyways, I don't want to say an oops, but it was a thing. So that being said, uh, I was ecstatic because, of course, we got to bring back the previous winner of the Miss Congeniality Award. Mm -hmm. And I was super excited about the fact that she was introduced as the winner of All Stars 4. Because mm -hmm. she was. She wasn't announced as the co-winner. She was announced as the winner. Not that that takes anything away from Trinity the Tuck. Exactly. Like, but. that's the one thing I will say I loved. Like, that they, that they said the and not co. Right. So. Big and, like, thigh and this, like, <laughs> <laughs> yellow odd dress. Go ahead, Miss Miss Monet. Yeah. So uh, Monet shows up and uh, she is giving me this incredible look. It is Josephine Baker realness. Like, mm. so damn stunning. Mm -hmm. And I know she got clocked of a lot for pussycat wigs, but this, like, finger wave, like, it's just, it's amazing. Absolutely yes. amazing. And look at the guns on her. I was like, girl. Yes. I was like, somebody I been you see them. she been lifting men above her head or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, Philip brings up an interesting point. He says revamped sponge dress because it technically is yellow with like dots all over it. So oh. that might it there's no green anywhere that I noticed, but yeah. Maybe she just made a point of not showing it because apparently she always has something. Maybe it was hiding in her chest like she's stunted before in that <laughs> case. Um, and of course, we have to have a plug because the $10,000 that is being awarded to Miss Congeniality comes from Crest 3D White Strips. Ding! Trixie Mattel made an amazing joke at Roscoe's at the finale re, uh, watch party where she said, at least they got a queen who has white teeth as opposed to all the rest of us that got yellow teeth. <laughs> she even ragged on herself. I thought it was so funny. I was like, damn, girl. I'm like, you're crazy. I just loved it that they actually showed her technically using them beforehand, too. Oh, well, yeah. You know that was a whole day session. Just like. No, you probably. They probably like, like. Who knows, like, how many times she actually did it? And like, like I'm just gonna put this on because if you've ever used their 3D white sleeves, by the way, like they are, they are, they are not easy. They're I mean, at least, fuck. yes. And like, you can't just like, woo, and you get them on like a two second. Mm -mm, no, no, it takes a minute sometimes. Yeah, sometimes not all the time. All right, so let's listen to this part first. Monet, would you please do us the honor? This year's Miss Congeniality will receive $10,000 courtesy of New Brilliance Crest 3D White Strips. <laughs> and the winner is... Nina Way! <laughs> So, yes, 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 yes. This is the moment in our on on our Telegram chat that this is when I said yes. Like Aww. I wasn't spoiling anything. <laughs> very happy about the fact that I got to see it live when I was in the bar. In that case, uh, okay. and we need to quickly move on uh, to like. This whole this whole thing is magical. She gets the award. She looks great. I mean, look at this color combination. Rue's green, Nina's red, Monet's yellow. Like 
actually even a carries blue on the left like they're looking like primary color like kindergarten like yes <laughs> bring me all the crayola thing yes i agree with you philip as if it would go to anybody else they did do a quick thing with the camera thinking maybe sugar cane maybe scarlet and i was like um uh, whatever i'm like if it does not go to nina west then like we're gonna burn the world down that's how it's yeah <laughs> the world will burn um so she does end up winning everybody's really excited about it even nina now i do have a slight criticism and it's about the manufacturer of this gown girl i realize you're not in front of a mirror but it's really unfortunate because your dress is starting to ride up a little bit and like get like waves and ripples to it mm -hmm. so yeah just a note to the dress designer like maybe you should have put some like weights in the in the hem or something to keep it like <laughs> so mm -hmm. it stay down a little um so now this moment is the best moment of all the reaction is there anything you'd like to say meh I die dead. D E D dead. I was dead. Dead. <laughs> I, yeah. What is there to say? Uh, I'll go back to the pictures in just a moment. David, what, what did you, what were your thoughts on that this? That was my, like, like, I literally just that. Like, that was my thing. Like, that was a perfect, just like, awesome fucking moment to like just bring all of it back together like like i don't know just like meh. like oh it, and it was like hands down like go ahead nina like congratulations to you that was the perfect moment the perfect way to like end that like Yes, you got it. And then you just, just like to just bring it right, like just dig like right into that like little cut, just right there. Like, oh, like fuck yeah. I was so I was so floored. I was dead. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. It was just congratulations to Nina, because I think it was just like the best thing. I nearly was in tears when that moment happened. Uh mm -hmm. Let's go go back to the um, the image because I mean that I'm gonna replay that clip because it's so great. And then I want you to pay attention in the background to uh, what you hear because somebody loses their shit when that happens. Now, is there anything you'd like to say? Meh. Monet loses her mind, but Vanji freaks the fuck out. She is screaming in the background. This look on her face. She is serving sex doll at the adult bookstore realness in this moment. It is pretty damn crazy and made me laugh like hell. It was, it was, it was something else to behold. So, and, uh, you know, I mean, who could who could you not be happy for in this moment? She definitely, you know, helped pull it all together. And I was really, really happy for her. So and she's, you know, very much full of joy in this moment when she wins. So I was I was really happy about that. You still on mute? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I think I see David's lips moving and I don't hear nothing. <sighs> now, Philip says in the live chat that, that the meh was Nina calling Rue out for sending her home instead of Silky. Ooh! Long-term shade. <laughs> Year later shade. Like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Perhaps deservedly so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 
Congratulations, season 11, Miss Congeniality, Nina West. Could not be more proud of who ended up winning. Uh, she's got all this amazing stuff going on for her right now. She dropped her two albums, Drag is Magic and John Goodman, um, and has been getting lots of praise for that as well. Um, she actually just, <laughs> as crazy as it is, has an ice cream flavor that she's released mm -hmm. with Jenny's out of Columbus, Ohio, my favorite ice cream company in the whole fucking world. If you live in the U.S., you can get it shipped to your home in a ice uh, pack box in dry ice. It's amazing. The only thing, though, is Nina West has a collection of flavors that already exist that she loves that Jenny's does because they've actually collaborated in the past before. And... The downside is, is that uh, Nina's actual uh, dream puff flavor that is specially made for a limited time is only available in shops. So I am probably in uh, two weekends going to be in Ohio and I'm going to be going to Jenny's and getting some of that fucking ice cream. Um, <laughs> just saying. For the record. Girl. When it comes to that. Like, uh, you know. Um can you pick somebody? No kidding. <laughs> Can you pick a girl up? <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Yay, uh, Nina West. Oh, and then the ice cream, all of the profits are going to the Nina West Foundation. Yay. And they're selling a pride shirt for Jenny's. Mm -hmm. So they're doing they're doing a ton of stuff. It's uh it's it's pretty special things. I'm very okay. Happy so I'm just going to read this because I feel like it, it needs to be like red for everyone just so you understand Jenny's ice cream. So Nina West Dream Puff is salted vanilla custard, toasted pastry flakes, and an exuberant strawberry sauce. A little sweet, a little salty, a little tart, like our favorite drag queen. Sounds delicious. I want it now. In Everybody that has said that they've eaten it loves it. And there is an Instagram live video of Jenny Britton, who is the woman who makes Jenny's. She created the business. She's absolutely uh -huh. adorable. She helped make the flavor with uh, Nina. She actually said she loves this flavor so much that she might have to make it a permanent year-round flavor. <sighs> Girl. If it becomes a permanent year-round flavor, then most likely it will be available for shipping. Mm -hmm. So that is my hope. That is my hope. Not only do I get to go eat some and absolutely love it, as I expect, because there has yet been a flavor of hers that I don't like. Like, Jenny makes really good, high-quality ice cream. It is pricier. It's all hormone-free, grass-fed, milk from Ohio. All the ingredients come locally from the state. It's amazing stuff. They have great shops. They just – it's it's insane. It, it's, it's good. Like, like, sorry to like go on a tangent, but like, holy shit, is it good? I, I, I'm glad I don't live in in Columbus because <laughs> I've been there a couple of times. I could see myself going often and being like, just like, I would be diabetic. I would, I would be dead. Like, because <laughs> it's that kind of good, right? I'd probably also be broke. <laughs> I almost bought uh, I almost bought the Nina West package to ship to my home like when I found out yesterday about the, the drop of the mm -hmm. flavor reveal and saw all these people like but her actual dream puff flavor is not a part of the set and I was like oh. and I was like, well, I'll be in Ohio in a little bit so I think I can pull that the only other thing I want to say about the miscongeniality is that Evie Oddly did the most amazing post uh, on Twitter on June 1st and says the Miss Congeniality Award shall henceforth and ever whence be known as the Nina West Kindness Award given only to those who can truly make each single person they meet feel special. Yes. Be kind, be kind go West. Yes. So I was like, wow, that's like pretty awesome. She was just like, we should just rename it and say to hell with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I thought that that was that was pretty good. I won't say anything else, but it she she kind of has the power to do that. All right. Well, that being the case, let's move on to uh -huh. like, stick number three. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> 
All right, so we end up with the winners of the first two rounds. We have Brooklyn Heights versus Evie Oddly. I honestly didn't necessarily see this coming as who the top two would be. Mm -hmm. But like that being said, here we are. I'm not mad about it. There's actually, yeah, there's no reason to be upset about it because it, it turned out really well, in my opinion. So that being said, <clears throat> for the last time this season, do please stand behind me. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Edge of Glory by Lady Gaga. <laughs> Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and prove to the world that you are America's next drag superstar. Time's come to lip sync for the crowd. Good luck. Don't fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Brooklyn has like one of the best outfits ever. She's wearing the <laughs> complete cover up that says nothing but reveal, 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 reveal. And like, did you did you did you catch the back? Hold on. So oh, man, shit. Like, fuck. <laughs> that comes. That comes. I got it. It's so damn good. But they're just, I mean, look at that mug. I mean, she is so ready for this competition. She is like, mm. bring it on Evie delivers some of the most glamorous oddity I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. This outfit. I, I was, I was like, of, I, I like, I like the whole headpiece, just to hold the mirror. And, and that part just, just like what we're seeing right now, I was looking at this and I'm like, she's never taken that off. <laughs> like I'm just saying, like where you have like Brooklyn with all the reveals and sh like like she has the cape. Basically, she's gonna reveal something that she's wearing. Like we know what's coming, but like the this, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and I'm like, there's there's no way she is taking that off. It has to be if she's gonna do some kind of reveal. It's just gonna be something from the bottom, like down. Like it's gonna be from like the you know maybe waist down because it just doesn't anything else would not have worked. I was there blown away by this headdress. It mm -hmm. is mirrored. Is it, it is intricate. And now that I have time to look at it, the whole outfit, I didn't realize that bleeding eyes was the theme. Mm -hmm. if you look at the headdress. There is yeah. an eye right here in the middle of the forehead with jewels dripping down. There are eyes all along the edge of the mirror and in the middle, all the eyes along the mirror have droplets coming from them. The dress is made of eyes. This whole fabric is interlaced eyes connecting okay. each other the whole way down. I was like, this was such a well thought out look. The two mirrored thing, I actually read a thing online about who the artist is that makes this. He's well known for making headdress stuff. Specifically, it's it's head pieces. And so he uh, worked with Evie to make this particular thing. It's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. So yeah. uh, but I mean if you look so like this is Evie standing in, with the gown. If you pay attention, like this whole gold center strip thing is nothing but eyes. Like that's all they are is just yeah. eyes. But I didn't catch it the first time I saw it. I was just like, oh, that's kind of a crazy fabric. Oh, like, yeah, I caught it. Like I caught it early enough on that I got it. Like, and that's why it's like, oh my God, it was just so just amazing. And again, like if she was going to do anything with it, like from like where her waist is, where those there's two like side panels, I could see her taking that down and maybe revealing that she has like, eyeballs on her legs or something like i just there's just like i was i i was hoping maybe for some kind of reveal not hoping that sounds bad 
I was potentially expecting a reveal. I agree because of the 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 volume of the bottom of the dress. I thought there might have been something going on mm -hmm. underneath it, and those peplums are real small at the hip, so it makes you think that like the whole thing on on from the waist down is just going to fall off or mm -hmm. tear away, or she's going to spin out of it or something. Something. Yeah. So, and then there's this. <laughs> Best stunt funny moment in any season finale. The entire cover up says reveal, 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 reveal all over it. And then on the back of it, it says, here comes the reveal. So both of them did something very specific in the routine that I'll talk about in a second, but cracked my ass up to no end. And it was perfect. It was such a great delivery that Brooklyn knew when to turn her back to the crowd to be able to show that the back of it says, here comes the reveal. Yes. <laughs> right before she takes it off. <laughs> and then turns herself into a human disco ball, sort of. Like, yes. God, that was a great fucking reveal. It was pretty crazy that she is covered in these like reflective mirror pieces that are not all silver. There's like kind of a gold, kind of a bronze, mm -hmm. like kind of orange color. Like it was, it was pretty damned amazing. And all I kept thinking is, does it hurt to wear that? Because it's got know. all these like edges and points. I kept thinking like, and she gets on the ground and rolls around and. I was like, oh, girl. Beauty is pain, bitch. Beauty is pain. <laughs> well, that's true. It is the finale and it's $100,000. So, yeah. Uh, so, Brooklyn does the first reveal. She turns her back to the audience, and that's when you get to read the back, which is the funny moment. And then she rips off the cover up. And while well, she spins around, like Philip says, uh, Brooklyn's reveal was reminiscent of her reveal to save her ass for the bad Celine Dion snatch game. <laughs> Yeah. So it was it was a spin reveal, which she does very well. Obviously, she's a dancer. Um, and then, oh, and then, oh, good point. Philip says, coincidentally, the last time she lip synced against Evie uh, was the double save. Yeah. So that's why this is also like a really good like head to head matchup. So then, so this is Brooklyn. Like she does the reveal. She's off to the side. She's like body slamming, dancing, splitting, like all this. Evie then decides to make good use of the musical interlude moment it gives us this holy shit oh my god when she turned around and showed that i i again i died like i just i oh uh-huh uh -huh. oh was not ready for no. the face in the back which by the way is her face so yes. when you see how this thing was made they actually molded evie's face and then made this metal like piece that wrapped to the actual mold that was made off of Evie's face so that it matches to the front. And then when you pay attention to the front, you'll see that there's metal edging all along her face. Like yes. it's meant to be a reverse impression kind of thing with the glowing red eyes and lips and stuff. <sighs> you know, she practiced the fuck out of this move thing. Like, to slowly turn around and reveal the back face and then to pull the Ava Perone style, like mm -hmm. arms in the air, like give herself a, a beautiful position so that the front, so the back looks like the front. Mm -hmm. Like it was stunning. Stunning, like dead, like gah. Ah. <laughs> Words cannot express how fucking amazing that was to me. Yeah. Then, uh, this is not a good shot of Brooklyn, but <laughs> a puppet being pulled up into the air. But Evie then does the back bend, and this is actually pretty epic as well. The way she looks and stuff. Um, Brooklyn, you know, body slams to the ground. I mean, it's just it's 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 a lot. It's everything that we're kind of wanting in that, mm -hmm. and. This is pretty much the last look that you get of Evie. She never actually does a reveal. She just, like, with the dress. It's just, yeah. it's actually glamour this time, yet still. still odd. Yeah. And I think the best, her, her, like, she does, obviously, when she does the back bend, she actually does a flip oh, through the dress. 
So she's she's wearing this obviously big hoop, you know, hoop skirt type um, outfit on, and she then does the back bend onto the floor, and then she like flips her legs over. Um, and I just I I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty crazy and, and epic, all the way around. So. It's Brooklyn and Evie uh, for the end. Brooklyn is posed. Brooklyn is giving me, I've been here before. It's pageant. Like she's, a, she's an EOY, like entertainer of the year. You know, she's done stuff. So she knows what's going on. Uh, so Brooklyn is just like statuesque, I guess. Yep. Evie, on the other hand, looks like she's going to lose her lunch. Yeah. Evie looks nervous. Even looks scared. Fuck. Yeah. And she's trying all her might to hold it together. I think mm -hmm. at this moment. I was just like, girl, girl. <laughs> it know, was it was it was pretty crazy to me. So uh before we move on to uh well, hold on. Let me think about it. like if I want to go to the next part or not. Yeah, let's let's talk about up to this moment, Damon. What was your thoughts about the, the lip sync? Uh, like I said, I wrote down great song choice because I really did love the song. Mm -hmm. I think it was a perfect, you know, appropriate song. It's Lady Gaga. It's it just it just it just all worked for me. I love this lip sync. I love 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 this lip sync. I thought of the queens. This was the like finale, I was I pictured in my mind of the two of them kind of going at it at the end, um, and it just worked so fucking well. Um, God, the things that they did were appropriate. Again, like um, Philip, you mentioned in in our in our chat that like these are things that were like the the reveals were not like consuming the the you know, actors or the performers. And it was actually kind of enhancing it. And I totally agree with that. These were not like big ones. And even with like Brooklyn kind of pointing fun at the fact that she's giving you a reveal, I thought was appropriate and hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I said too close to call a question mark. Mm. I honestly did not know who was going to win. I was very nervous about who was going to be named by Rue because I felt that this lip sync was very, very competitive. And in a way, I thought Brooklyn outperformed Evie. Like in terms of like dancing and moving and like delivering on the song. Mm -hmm. True. Evie I can see that. was surprisingly reserved and wasn't like pulling a lot of stunts like that's what was so refreshing to me but like yeah. also just concerning because i was like wait i thought we entered the era where everybody has to pull a stunt everybody has to pull a reveal everybody has to do like there's like you know thing after thing after thing after thing mm -hmm. but, but maybe this was evie's answer to what happened last year with asia and maybe she thought, you know what? Sometimes less is more. Sometimes you don't have to take risks that, like, really can be catastrophic. Mm hmm. Agreed. Like that. I think that's kind of the. I think that's. I think what, what we got here, because Evie, if you look at her performance, she didn't do any like major reveals. Like I will think the headpiece in the back showing that part was a reveal in and of itself, although a minor reveal. Right. Um, but other than I, would, that, I would say it was pretty much up there like like uh, Brooklyn's reveal. Like, we knew a reveal was coming from Brooklyn. So yeah. we weren't that shocked by it, but it was good. Like, everybody was, was very pleased by it and appreciated it. And yeah. I kind of feel the same energy came out of when Evie turned around like we were all actually truly surprised by the reveal, but I don't know if I want to say people were blown away, like, like pissing themselves and uh, like yeah. falling out of their seats. And mm -hmm. like, I think people were really shocked, 
like but but like whoa like by the mm -hmm. visual of it but i don't think anybody was like oh that's crazy oh, like oh my god had evie yeah. somehow superimposed a projection of her face lip syncing to the song at that moment live then i would have lost my shit <laughs> but it wasn't it was just yeah. a gold head so yeah, yeah. i think it would have been really difficult for her to have done but holy shit if we could have done it like yeah yeah um so yeah i just um so I kind of thought it was too close to call, but I was like, okay, so this is this is the moment. So uh, let's move into our last segment, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's that time, kids, when uh -huh. Rue finally makes the announcement as to who is going to take the crown, which, as much as I know, if they still taped it the way they normally do, which is they do one winning and then they do the other winning. Now, whether or not they actually recorded a tie, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe they learned their lesson from Monet and Trinity in All Stars it's 4. It's a tie. It's a tie. Tie? What do you mean, tie? What do you mean, tie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would have been that would have been kind of oh epic and God. weird at the same time. But so we return to the scene. Brooklyn, poised, patient, Evie. About to lose her lunch all over the stage. Ladies, I made my decision. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, America's next drag superstar, is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that face is yes. everything. Yes. Girl, like, oh my God. Um, again, I don't know who's this recorded first. I don't think it matters really, but Evie looks shocked. Like surprised and shocked and oh my god oh fuck I won like yay look at Scarlett back there by the way just I know, I know. <laughs> so happy this is even yeah. a, a, a Queria like she's just yeah everybody is so happy in this moment for her mm -mm. go girls <laughs> I love this pose moment from Evie. It looks like the headpiece looks great in this moment, in this particular pose. It's just, yeah. it's it's something else to see her uh, winning. And like, I even love this moment. <laughs> Brooklyn's happy. Dean is happy. Akira is happy. Scarlet's happy. Like, well, Silky, not so much. Uh, happy. <laughs> Mercedes is happy. I'm pretty sure Mercedes changed happy. clothes. What's that? Mercedes changed. Oh, you're right. She did. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> what the hell that's all about? She wore this blue number. Uh-huh. Okay. I wonder what that's about. Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, nobody's talked about that that I know of yet. That she changed. Huh. Interesting. I wish, I wish, um, um, yes, Silky would have changed. Uh, well, yeah, or at least gone back to the out. I mean, she probably couldn't have got back, she could have gone back to the roach thing, yeah, or even to the pants, yeah, something, something, I don't something know. Else. So, yeah, Evie. Queen who can fit her entire fist in her mouth 
<laughs> oddly the winner of season 11 crazy 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 and such Ooh. awesome stuff at the same time yes congratulations Yay! yeah yeah Philip says uh, in the live chat, she went back to Drag Basics and let her performance do the work as it should. This is why she's the true queen. Well, that's a statement in itself. And if you haven't seen it, this is Evie at the crowning in San Francisco. I think it was by mm -hmm. Levi's or sponsored by Levi's. Mm -hmm. I thought this was rather tame for Evie. It's yes. very, like Ice Princess, like. I hate to make this the seventh reference to the movie Frozen in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, like, kind of blue sparkly gown, spaghetti straps, kind of refined. But mm -hmm. perhaps she did it on purpose because she thought through about winning and she knew what she was going to be, you know, yeah. getting crowned and mm -hmm. all that. Like, it, I I'm glad... I would have, again, this is, would have been one of the things where I would have liked a little bit more of an EV twist to it. I don't know what she could have done with that color per se, but something, I just would have expected something different. Um, I do like the color on her. I do like the, the, you know, with the scepter and everything else. But then again, she maybe thought that this was going to be more official, but whatever. Like, then again, maybe she thought she wasn't going to win. I don't think that's it. Because she... she it was just her in Brooklyn. And yeah. if, they, if they did the multiple recording ending thing, then it was just the two of them that could possibly win. I don't have a, a screenshot of it, but uh, it was Silky, Akira, Brooklyn, and, and Evie were all on a couch on a set side by side for the, for the reveal. So, so I'm just going to put this out there. Were you looking at that? Did you watch the whole thing? Watch what whole thing? The, the 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 reveal video or the you know announcement video no i did not see the announcement video i didn't oh. I, I never saw it linked or it never came across my social media oh so I, I may have to show you i'll see if i can find it again but there's something in the i i'm, I'm gonna mention it now so it'll be a spoiler i apologize but i think it needs to be said that's okay but you can tell in the spoiler video that brooklyn is looking at Evie to see her reaction. I don't know if she knows, but she probably feels like this was Evie's win. And you can just see that coming across. Interesting. A, I'm going to have to see if I can find it. It might be in my history. Okay. Give me one second. So Wait, that's going. pretty much the season. Moving on into our final thoughts. Um, I'll go with mine first. Mm -hmm. I said we ended without drama and I could not be happier. I don't think I've been this pleased and I don't know how many seasons by the winner, by the miscongeniality, by how everything played out. Like, yes, it was high entertainment and there was a whole bunch of drama this season between some of the Queens and how they portrayed themselves and how they acted and blah, blah, blah. But ultimately it was good television and relatively good competition, which we actually got into the competition itself. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, the competition didn't come until we got to like the last six, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it was, it was good overall. And I was very happy with how it all came together. And I was extremely pleased by the fact that Silky was first round and that she was immediately eliminated. And this isn't being shady that I that I hate Silky. I just really truly feel she shouldn't have made it to top four. Agreed. Now, now had she, had she not beaten Nina, and Nina went home a week later, and Vanjie made it to top four, then you know the whole thing would have turned into what already happened, which is Nina, or sorry, Vanjie versus Brooklyn as the quote unquote mm -hmm. lovers, which yeah. we actually learned in the reunited is ended. So that yeah. really wouldn't have been the case when the finale was filmed, which would have yeah. made things very awkward to try to figure out how you handle that <laughs> <laughs> in that case. 
So yeah. So I just yeah I just sent the video. I don't. I'll probably put it in the doc as well, just so that people can see it. Um, so the 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 win aside, everything else like this is my final thoughts, and I, I wish I could find a picture. I have it on my phone, but um, can we can we talk a minute about um Evie's dad, like for a minute? <laughs> like, can we talk about Evie's dad? Like. He Shameless is fussy. <laughs> yes, he he was he. <laughs> I found it hilarious that he one he's he's just a very handsome man. First of all, um, it caught that caught me first. Like, oh, all right, like, go ahead, Mister Mister Oddly, like <laughs> Daddy Oddly. Uh, but like you, they find you find out that he he's he's in a motorcycle club. And he, you know, tells his 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 motorcycle club mates to like watch the show. And I'm just like, so you're in motorcycle club, and you watch Drag Race. Hmm. <laughs> it just I think quit I just trying to was, make something happen that ain't gonna happen. I know, but still. <laughs> let me let me fantasize. Let me live in my French vanilla <laughs> fantasy for just a minute. Like, oh, it's just, it's just. I thought it was very cute, and I just think he's a very handsome man. I think if I did, I save that picture. I bet I did. I bet I did. Yes, I did. Look at this. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to keep talking so that you can see it a little better on my phone. But that's Mister. That's Mister. Oddly. Yeah, that is a very handsome man. Like, man's is up in this shit. Wait, go ahead. And his eyes, holy fuck his eyes. Like, done. Out. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Having said all that. Jam, I'm really sorry to say this, but it appears that Damon's <laughs> moved on and found another man. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> well, you're all Twitter painted over, Mr. Oddly. Oh, he's cute. He Fuck. is a good looking man. He's got really strong cheekbones, cute little goatee, mm -hmm. clean, clean, you know, shaven, bald head. Yeah, no, I mean, he probably looks good in leather chaps on a hog, but, you know, I mean, just. <laughs> Damon needs a moment, apparently. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, uh, yeah. I mean, back. I mean, I I agree with you totally. That I think this was a very good like ending. Um, I was happy with Evie winning. I think it was a the I don't want to say the right choice, but I think of the queens that were in the bottom. I think it are the top. Excuse me. They were the ones. I see was the one that I was most rooting for to win this. Um. I would have been okay with Brooklyn winning. I think any either of us would have been okay with Brooklyn winning. Um, but I also think it was a great choice to have Evie win. Um, I was a little scared for her after the first lip sync. Um, not that it was bad, I just was expecting more. And, and Akiri was bringing it. Even though she's not the greatest dancer, she knew what she was doing. And she was doing a lot of really awesome stuff. And I was worried for a minute. I agree. When so this is this this is the T. This is the truth. I was in the bar because I wanted to be able to see it live, and I was like, "All right, I'm going to go to the bar, even though I'm not really wanting to be around a crowd." And mm -hmm. I'm not wanting. And the and in our state, even though technically there is a smoking ban, there's like this loophole thing. So the local gay bar loves smoking, which so I was like, I don't want my stuff to smell like smoke. But mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, the bar was not full. Like I thought it was going to be a packed house. They were having this big, you know, they were having a drag show with the like the finale, and they've been doing the this all season long. So I was expecting like there to be a couple other people, and it's going to be standing room only. And I was like, uh. And then it wasn't, and I was shocked, and I was like, "Oh well." And they had it playing on every TV, including the big projection screen system at the at the dance floor. So mm. 
I am literally watching like this huge screen projection and I'm like 15, 17 feet away, just enjoying my cocktail. Like I got a private audience viewing, like watching it live. <laughs> um, and then listening to the local, uh, you know, diva, uh, Rebecca May talking between on commercials and stuff like that. So nice. it was nice, you know, but it was when we got to the end of the third round, I thought, wow, I think it's going to go to Brooklyn. Like, I, I honestly felt that way. Mm. And I was a little disappointed because I wanted Evie to have it all season. Like, my, my heart was for Nina, but then as the season went on, I was like, I just don't see Nina winning it. I just, I didn't. Mm. Like, she just wasn't delivering on the level that I was kind of wanting her to. And mm -hmm. she knows that she's actually talked about it. She's been very open about the fact that if she gets asked for all stars. She said she would absolutely do it in a heartbeat. And so I think there's huge potential for that, um, especially since she's a Miss Congeniality winner. Um, mm -hmm. And if she does it and then she wins all stars, then she'd be falling in the steps of Monet again. Just saying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but when that last lip sync ended, I thought, Ooh, I was like, I felt that Evie was being a little understated and the fact that she didn't pull a stun of any sort and there was really no reveal. I was like, okay, well, I, I guess it goes to Brooklyn. Yeah. And then when she was announced by Rue, I was truly shocked. And then I thought, oh wait, that's right. Rue makes the final call. And while the lip syncs are important and they help add up to the end, the reality is, if you make it to the last lip sync, mm -hmm. unless you really fuck it up, which Rue says not to do, <laughs> then it's anybody's game. Yeah. Agreed. I think, so, I think in this case, that was sort of where we were at. Yeah. Yeah. So ultimately, Evie ends up winning, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, honestly happy about it. And, yeah. and and surprise pleasantly and excited about it and and really feel that she has a platform of helping people know you know that like it doesn't matter what you do like that you can that you two could end up competing and and potentially winning and that there is a i mean it's a game Let's be real. Yeah. It's 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 television, it's competition. There's a way to navigate it and she figured it out that yeah. you you got to be you but you've also got to be able to deliver some other stuff like you can't be just like 100 percent like trashy odd like dollar store queen all the time you've got to be able to deliver True. a little bit of high something else you got to be able to do some things and she was very humble also notably like about the fact that she's a bit salty mm -hmm. um and she's talked openly about it including the fact that she what i did not know which makes way more sense if you watch the watch uh is it the what you're packing? Yeah, I think so. Uh, with Evie, or no, it's with Brooklyn that says this. No, even Evie says it. Both of them went to art schools. Mm -hmm. Evie went to an art school, like like high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so she said we were constantly critiqued and we constantly critiqued each other. She's like, so I come from an environment where you just honestly tell people what you think of their stuff. Yeah. And she's like, and that's kind of, that's biting me in the rear end because people aren't ready for that. They don't come from that background where you're constantly being given notes, basically. Mm -hmm. And and Brooklyn, in her perspective, was talking about the fact that you are constantly trying to strive for perfection. And so you're always critical of yourself. And I think that's yeah. why Brooklyn was always like, oh, I just feel good to be here and blah, blah, blah. And I'll do the best job I can. And I was like, where the fuck's the fire girl? Like, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. like pull it out. But she does just, she does perform really well on the stage. So, you know, yeah. yeah. So that is season 11, 11. Woo. And if we are blessed, it will be six months, seven months, eight months before we return. Not that we all don't love you, but we need a break. Yeah. We Cause we've been recording. Away two episodes almost every week for half a year. Yeah. Cause we had all stars and started up in December unexpectedly. 
And then we pretty much rolled straight into the regular season. Mm -hmm. And hopefully when we come back, I will have figured out how the fuck to make all the software work. And we'll go back to the better looking <laughs> video version of all this shit in that case. In the meantime, if you would like to tell us your thoughts about how things are and our, tell us your thoughts about our thoughts, that's fine. You can go to comesoutloud.com. You can also send us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. You can send us a voicemail. Uh, you can call us at 361-CAWALTALK. That's 361-265-8255. On the social medias, just type in Cubs Out Loud as one word. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, basically all that stuff. If you want to stay in touch with us over the off season, quote unquote, you could go to tinyurl.com slash telegram hyphen or dash C O L D R and join the conversation over there. Uh, we will be discussing pretty much anything that has to do with the real girls all throughout yeah. the summer. They are all booked at pride gigs. Some of us are going to be seeing them live. We're very much looking forward to uh, knowing all the stuff that they're going to be working on. Yeah. And that's going to be coming up. Um, and then if you want to support us, you can get some of our merch over at Zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. You can also become a patron over at Patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud to support us, uh, to pay for some of the costs uh, that it takes to put on the show. And if you want to, we would appreciate you promoting us by rating us on iTunes or any of the podcast platforms that are out there. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube if you're watching us. Uh, tell others about us. Give us your feedback. We greatly appreciate it. Damon, like, if they want to get in touch... Yes, like, comment, and subscribe. If uh, you want to get in touch with Damon, where would they find you online sure. in the offseason? In the offseason, you can find me at Theater Cub 79. That's T H E A T R E Cub 79. On most bear related sites, or even on Facebook. Or you can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me, my name is Garber73. That's G A R B E A R 73. And this has been CML Drag Race Tea Time. We are going to hibernate for the off season. Uh, and I'm actually looking forward to it, to be honest. Me too. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. And this is the end of season 11, kids. <laughs>